Hey Adam, this is Keaton Everett with ABC, going over your pitching video from camp. <clears throat> We're going to go through and talk about your motion and your mechanics and, um, you know, kind of discuss everything, stop it at, at a couple spots we look at and just kind of discuss, you know, what we like to see, you know, what, what we look for, um, you know, ways that we can make sure we're consistently repeating our mechanics. Uh, we're using our lower body and, you know, trying to generate as much power and torque as we can uh, to keep ourselves, you know, healthy um, and, you know, ultimately to add some velocity too. So we'll go through and, and uh, talk a little bit about each spot here. So, all right, so we'll go back to the start here. All right, so from the wind-up, biggest thing, you know, just make sure we're not doing too much, too, um, too big of movements. You know, our head shouldn't be going all over the place, eyes on the target. Um, you know, and it looks like you're, you're doing a pretty good job. So, um, you know, it's a nice little move to the side, which is fine. The one thing that, that we'd um, like to see you do is instead of going forward so much, all right, is you start it back. <clears throat> back from this spot here is you know you can still go a little bit forward but either just to the side a um, little bit back but not so much forward and what I want you to sort of see is just kind of draw sort of a reference point for your posture here and you can see that when you step forward all right now <clears throat> your weight is out over this front foot and now to get it over your back foot you're going to have to come backwards all right and so now you start taking forward here all right, now you come back, and so what we want to try to do is from that start, from the initial windup, is try to keep your weight over that back foot the whole time. So when you kind of step forward a little bit too much, uh, you know, then, then you kind of have to go backwards. You just kind of make it inefficient, um, and so just kind of work on just kind of cleaning that up a little bit. All right, but you do, good, do a good job at staying through that back leg. Once you get there, you know, you're staying over that back leg in a nice, solid position. All right, your hips are nice and closed. All right, everything's solid here. Now what we want to try to see, that timing, are the hips start to go forward, the hands start to break. And so we watch as we tick forward. You, know, you get the hips going a little bit, the hands are breaking. All right, so you, everything's going pretty good here. All right. You know, the biggest thing for our mechanics and velocity is our lower half, is in our hips and our legs. And... You know, it gets easier as you get older and get stronger uh, to generate everything. And, and you already have a pretty good idea, a good sense of, um, you know, how that lower half needs to work. Um, so it'll become a lot easier as you get older and get that strength there. You know, that velocity is, is going to start showing up a little bit uh, sooner than other kids your age. So that's uh, very good to see. So then what we look at is your foot strikes. So once that front foot first hits the ground, um, which is right here, you know, it, this kind of gives us a lot of clues on everything, and, and it's a pretty solid spot right here, all right? Um, the biggest thing that we can kind of work on is is if we're going drawing a straight line from the, it's kind of hard to tell, um, but you are popping open a little bit, all right? Um, try to land, you know, if you draw a straight line from your back foot to the catcher, you know, we're landing somewhere in that, in that line, but the, the thing that kind of, shows us that you're landing open and, and uh, out in front a little bit. As you can see this angle in this knee right here, um, you can see that the knee's out over that um, that ankle, so you're kind of starting early. All right, this back side right here is really good. So this right here is solid, all right? You have, you have uh, good posture, all right? The elbow's not at an extreme angle, all right? Everything's good here. Now what we like to see is obviously this be closed off a little bit, but we want to try to see a little bit more extension where our knees, you know, a little bit farther back, um, so we're not out out his front so much. So basically, what this is just kind of showing us is a lot of your weights on your knee and your front hip instead of this back hip um, and your back knee. All right, so just kind of be aware of that. This front elbow is down a little bit, but it's not too bad. You know, usually we kind of like to see those matched up a little bit more, um, but nothing too crazy there to have to worry about too much. Um, and so when you pop open early and you get out in front a little bit early, what you're going to see through your release point is you're going to see this back foot pop up off the ground before you're releasing the ball. All right, so, you know, between these two frames is where you're releasing that ball. And so, you know, if you think about boxers, if you think about, you know, how they're punching, you know, the, the most power that you can generate is with two feet on the ground. You know, you want to drive through that back leg to create force, to create drive, to create everything. 
Um, and so when that back puts off, you're going to lose a little bit of power. And what that's going to do, too, is cause you to release the ball, you know, from, from up here at this point. And so what you would like to see at through your release point, so we'll go tick forward here, is we'd like to still see that back foot still on the ground, go through back here, uh, but that head and that chest is going to be out over that front foot more. All right, so we're, we're right out here. Now we're going to get that head out over that front foot, create more of that angle. That back foot's still going to be on the ground, and then we're going to pick up release points. Now we're going to start releasing the ball from out here maybe, get more angle, get more velocity on everything. So, you know, at this spot here, you know, we got back legs straight, so you just create more angle. Uh, you use a more lower half, more body um, to get everything rolling. But, again, every, you know, like I said, it's going to come easier as you get older. Um, you, you do a lot of good things. You can still see the glove out there. It's not getting pulled off. So all these are just out front a little bit early, so you're losing that backside a little bit. Um, but, I mean, other than that, it's really solid. It's good to see, you know, you're using that lower half, getting that momentum going. Uh, now just work on staying in line your direction and staying in that back side so you can get that head and that chest down over that front foot through your release point. So anyways, thanks for making out to camp. Hopefully you had a great time. Uh, have a great season this year, and hopefully we'll get see you again with ABC.